Thank you for coming. Good afternoon. I'm Peter Stein. I'm the executive director of the San Francisco Jewish Film Festival. Thank you so much for being here. Today's screening has become a lightning rod for a tremendous deal of controversy over whether it is appropriate for a Jewish film festival to screen subject matter that is critical of some Israeli government actions or policies and to hear from speakers who may hold unpopular or critical views. This debate reflects an ongoing passionate tug of war in our community, reaching far beyond this one film or the two speakers you will hear from today. Now some of you are here, many of you are here, because you already hold very strong opinions about this program and our speakers. Our festival is trying to be a model for civic discourse. And I thank you. I do urge all of you to help us prove that our community can reasonably and respectfully listen to one another. Help us be that model by treating each element of our program, our pre-film speaker, our short film, that many of you probably don't even know we're running, <laughs> our feature documentary, and our post-film Q&A. Please treat each element with courtesy. Nobody wins if we can't do that. So I will just state the one ground rule, I know most of you are absolutely ready to abide by it, but the one ground rule is interruptions or disrespect will not be tolerated in this theater, and people attempting to disrupt any element will be asked to leave. Uh, the documentary, Rachel, uh, by Simon Guiton, uh, is made by a Jewish citizen of Israel and will have its Israeli premiere at the prestigious Haifa Film Festival in October. Now, the fact that our screening and post-film Q&A should be the cause for calls of boycotts, defunding, and condemnation of our festival has truly saddened me. But it has also confirmed to me that narratives, whether films, novels, or even conversations, narratives hold power. They can be touchstones, providing shape and substance to our deepest beliefs. Our festival proceeds on the principle that by being exposed to a wide array of these stories and ideas, each of us can understand ourselves better, make better choices in our lives, and decide what we really believe in and what we really stand for. These are not just American values. These are Jewish values. I'm proud that our festival tries to cultivate them even under pressure to narrow its discourse. That is why this year alone we have 37 films from and about Israel. Films that reflect the vibrant, complicated, talented, creative, and fiercely opinionated peoples who live there. I urge you to see more than just today's films. On Wednesday afternoon, for example, at 4.45 p.m., we are showing two documentaries about Israeli soldiers kidnapped in war and the impact on their families. Monday night at 9, the feature drama Seven Minutes in Heaven deals with the effect of a terrorist bus bombing on a young woman's psyche. And yes, we have comedies from Israel too, and shorts and animation. But we must all acknowledge that the screening of the film Rachel has hit a very raw nerve among some in our community, even those who have not seen the film. <laughs> Listen, we are not afraid to hear their opinions, and in fact, we invited someone here to share them with you by way of being utterly candid about the controversy surrounding our screening. In Jewish tradition, the Talmud is never studied alone, but with a study partner that you can debate with. You often learn better when there is a certain degree of argument. And so, in addition, to the Q&A with Rachel Corey's mother, Cindy Corey, after the film. You'll have a chance first to hear a brief statement before the film from Dr. Michael Harris, a founder of the grassroots advocacy group SF Voice for Israel. The festival, after all, 
serves a wide constituency, our tent is big, and many opinions are better than fewer. Now one final note. Part of that big tent is that we work with nearly 60 different community partners to help us promote our films to very diverse constituencies. These partners, that we call co-presenters, range from synagogues and museums to the Anti-Defamation League, the Holocaust Center, KQED, the Israel Center, and Hadassah. Our co-presenters, to be clear, do not fund or program our festival. They help us spread the word. So for that, I wish to thank the co-presenters of this screening, American French Service Committee and Jewish Voices. Thank you.